whether a person can donate something from his body, donate blood in this case. Is that allowed during the fast? When a person donates blood, it's somewhat like cupping. You know, cupping means removing blood from the body to the surface, either by sucking or by cupping. It is somewhat similar. As far as this is concerned, there is difference of opinion among the scholars. Can you donate blood or is cupping allowed while fasting or can a person cup? There's a hadith which is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2364, where a beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, anyone who cups and gets cupped, they break their fast. Is the person who cups and a person who gets cupped breaks the fast. But there's also another hadith in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1938, where it's mentioned that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was cupped while fasting. But because of these two hadiths, there's a difference of opinion in the scholars. There's one group of scholars who say that because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave a commandment that the person who gets cupped and the person who cups, he breaks the fast. Cupping is prohibited. Blood donation is prohibited. Because the other hadith is an action. The first hadith is a commandment. So when a commandment and action, if it touches, the commandment has got more value. So based on this, there is a group of scholars who say that blood donation is haram. Amongst these scholars, we have Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, we have Sheikh bin Baz who says that cupping and blood donation is haram. We have the great scholar Sheikh Utaimi who says it's haram. Sheikh Saleh Fozan and Sheikh Jibreen. All of these scholars say cupping is haram. And Sheikh Jibreen says that if a person donates blood, it's like cupping, therefore it's haram. But if he does it to save somebody's life, it is permissible, but yet it breaks the fast and he has to make up for that fast later on. Now there's another group of scholars where Sheikh Nasr al Albani, he says that the earlier hadith of Abu Dawud, it has been abrogated by the hadith of Sahih Bukhari. Therefore, cupping is allowed and donating blood is allowed. So the second group of scholars will say donating blood is allowed and cupping is allowed while fasting and does not break the fast. We have Sheikh Nasr al Albani, we have amongst the Sabah Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, we have Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. We have Imam Malik, we have Imam Shafi. So there's another group of scholars who say that blood donating does not break the fast. So based on this, there are some scholars who say it's makro. Some scholars say that if there's such a large difference of opinion, so if it has to be done, avoid it and do it after sunset. So we have a difference of opinion as far as blood donation is concerned. But as far as the other things are concerned, for example, if there is a small bleeding due to any injury, that does not break the fast. There is no difference of opinion in this. Or if you take blood only for testing, a few ml of blood is removed from the body. For testing, that does not break the fast. Or an injury and a cut, the blood comes out, doesn't break the fast. Or if it's a nosebleed, or bleeding of nose, that doesn't break the fast. Or if it's a minor surgery where little blood flows out, it doesn't break the fast. If excessive blood flows out, in a blood surgery, which is equivalent to blood donation, then it breaks the fast. So as far as the second part is concerned about blood taking out for testing, nose bleed or minor bleeding, there is no difference of opinion. All of them agree that this does not break the fast. These are issues which frequently come up in conversations in the UK. And I believe that we've answered quite a few of them there today. So very, very beneficial indeed.